So what is the cost of a hip replacement surgery and how long does it last? This is the most commonly asked question by my audience and by my patients coming to my clinic. In every live session, I'll get to know, sir, if my surgery lasts 25 years, then what will have to happen after 25 years? Hello friends, I'm Dr. Pankaj Valecha and I'm a hip and knee replacement surgeon in Delhi. In last 20 years, I've operated more than 3,700 patients of hip and knee problems and I've helped them handheld them to get back to their normal lives. So the cost of hip replacement surgery depends on three major factors. One of them is your age. So what I mean by that, people whose age is more than 65, 70, generally they are suffering from one comorbidity or the other like diabetes, hypertension or hypothyroidism. And many patients also have some cardiac issue going on. So when we do hip replacement surgery for such patients, usually it is done in a hospital which has ICU or the intensive care unit and these patients usually require observation for 24 hours in the ICU which adds to the cost of the surgery. Vis-a-vis -vis when we do a surgery for a younger patient which are majority of my patients maximum patients coming to me for hip replacement surgery are coming in the age group of 25 to 55. They do not have any major diseases going on in their body and we can perform their surgery in a hospital which doesn't have an ICU because they really don't require to be observed in an ICU. They are fit patients and surgery is done using latest techniques, minimum tissue damage. So the surgery lasts less than an hour. So these patients are up and about within 24 hours. So usually the cost of surgery is relatively lesser when we are operating younger patients. What is the second factor? That's the implant and which is the biggest factor which controls the cost. How it does that? So implant could be of different types, whether it is cemented or uncemented. Cemented is sasta, uncemented is manga. Ceramic or whether it is metal. So now what is ceramic metal? You can see so many of my videos talking about it. Still, if you want to see, here it is. Ceramic ball head, this is the metal ball head. Both are uncemented. It's relatively cheaper, it's relatively expensive. Why? Because ceramic lasts longer. Ceramic is smoother. It leads to less wear and tear of the hip joint. That is why it is expensive and that is why it is preferred in younger patients. Then whether we are using any special implant or not. If in some patients we are using dual mobility implant. If you don't know what is dual mobility, go click on that link above and check my video on what is dual mobility. Alright, dual mobility implant costs roughly 40 to 50 thousand rupees extra than ceramic on highly crossed in poly implant. Now dual mobility is not used for majority of the patients even if you have ankylosing spondylitis or you have AVM. It is required only for those patients only in those special situations where the hip muscles are weak like in polio or in any neurological disorder or especially in patients who have undergone 2-3 hip replacement surgeries or failed operations of fracture and when they come for hip replacement surgery we always keep dual mobility on the shelf because we may have to use it any time. If the hip joint is relatively easy to dislocate during the surgery, that's when we switch to dual mobility implant, okay? But you must not forget, now ceramic on highly crossed in poly uncemented implant is available which is made by local companies and which is made by a US FDA approved company. The implant which is made by a US FDA approved company is definitely expensive and it is worth it, okay? Do not cut the cost of the surgery by cutting the quality of the implant, boss, not acceptable. Okay, so whenever you are getting an uncemented hip replacement surgery done, even if you are getting ceramic on highly crossed in poly, ensure that your implant is by a US FDA approved company. Okay, and the third factor is hospital or the type of hospital. So if you are being operated in a corporate hospital, of course you will understand that it will be more expensive, isn't it? Bigger hospital, bigger cost. And if you are being operated in a relatively smaller hospital, where your surgeon visits regularly, where your safety is ensured, where the cleanliness in the operation room as well as in the hospital is ensured and where you get good, good post-operative care is also one of the options. And when you get operated in a smaller hospital, it's pocket friendly, isn't it? You get to pay less money while you still get the same quality of surgery. So friends, the cost of uncemented total hip replacement surgery using ceramic on highly crossed in polyethylene bearing, which is the most common and the most preferred bearing surface, is somewhere between 3.7 to 3.8 lakh rupees depending upon where you're being operated and uh, what are the other conditions medical conditions you have right and if dual mobility implant is being used for some specific reason then it adds another 40 to 50k to the cost which i just mentioned 
although if you are doing a cemented total hip replacement surgery which is largely reserved for those patients who are like above the age of 70 75 or patients who are um, have who have a special kind of bony anatomy where uncemented implant cannot be fitted then cemented stem is relatively less expensive as compared to uncemented so if i talk in the terms of stem then it drops the cost by 15 20000 rupees and if i also do a cemented cup that further drops it by 30 to 40000 rupees so that's how it is generally you take uncemented ceramic and highly crossing poly as the reference which is around 3.70 to 3.80 lakh rupees in the setup where i work and where and it is applicable to probably most of the good hospitals in a metro city it may be lesser if you are in a smaller town because the cost is not as high in a small town because they are usually nursing homes or hospitals which are not that big in size which do not have all the facilities and all the uh, departments running in one hospital so that also adds to the cost so friends these are the three most important factors which control the cost of the surgery so that brings me to the second most important question which is asked that how long my hip replacement surgery will last so let me burst two three myths here number 1 hip replacement surgery i am quoting a scientific uh, statement in 80 to 85% of the patients at 25 years of the surgery there is no problem happening in their hip okay this is a scientific figure so which means that at 25 years after the surgery you may still be doing well because majority of the patient 80 to 85% patients are doing well and as we are seeing more longer follow ups with the latest implants it is even getting better recently a study was published in 2021 from uk where at 18 years they could hardly see any kind of wear and tear so the life of hip replacement surgery is safely anywhere between 20 to 25 years but it also depends on multiple other factors what is the bone quality what are your daily habits if you are a smoker or if you are an alcoholic then that can affect your bone health that can make your bones weaker and that can make the implant become loose earlier okay that also depends what's your body weight if you are really obese that also affects your uh, life of the implant isn't it because you are putting that much weight on that artificial bearing surface and it may wear and tear faster so keeping these things in mind generally if we have to give a give a statement then 20 to 25 years is a very safe time which you can keep in your mind and after that my friends revision hip replacement surgery is also a successful operation you must not compromise the most productive years of your life with hip pain you should be able to enjoy your personal life your professional life to the fullest without any pain in your in your hip or in any other part of your body and pain must not be a part of anybody's routine you must not be popping in pain killers just to take care of your pain you must go and see a specialist doctor who can actually guide you diagnose your problem and help you with the right treatment so friends i hope you found this video useful and in this video i could answer two very commonly asked questions about hip replacement surgery and if you still have any doubts in your mind then you can write in the comment section and you can also subscribe to my channel to know more about hip replacement surgery and i'll see you in the next video now